in a second. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, I should open up the Twitch chat, huh? <laughs> Got my uh, controller wire. Things are looking good for me. Sorry. All right, we got a. Oops, I don't know why it's lagging. Oh, it's probably because I the drivers, my GeForce drivers, updated, so now the game has to like get used to the new drivers. Real quick, hold on. Alright, opened up the... The, uh... The Twitch chat. Okay, so we don't have to deal with much, we just have to deal with that fucking... I say not much, but we gotta deal with that really annoying guy. That's up ahead. Fucking big boy. Oh, I was hoping she'd get stunned after that second hit. <laughs> oh, not there. <laughs> Alright, this big thing that's gonna fucking kick my ass for the unteenth time. Man. to me. You know, I say that, and then immediately... And... I'm dead. Oh. Hey! Arch extra heavy fra heavyweight frame. Wow. <laughs> he gave me so much problem in the last stream, and now on this stream I just beat him first try. First try with only using one fucking health item. To be fair, though, he did, like, my RNG was better today. He he didn't do those, like, that annoying move over and over again, like he usually does. Uh, so I got a new frame, right? Yes. Physical damage reduction rate goes up by 4.25. Hell yeah, but it's pretty heavy. <laughs> 4.25. Fuck it. Alright, I'm still in the slightly heavy range. <laughs> Man, I wasn't coughing at all. And then I started streaming and then I started coughing. <laughs> what kind of bone shit? Radiant ergo fragment. I hope I don't have to kill that thing again. Assuming I, like, die. Pretty annoying. Resplendent Ergo Fragment. I'm enough to level up. Oh hey! A bonfire! How convenient. Am I being baited? I'm not. Collapsed workshop tower. Oh, this is where um Eugenie escaped from, right? Cause she was in the workshop tower and then the real Alidoro saved her from here. Speaking of which, let's go pay Hotel Craw to visit. Get that level up. There's the six coins! Yeah, I definitely need to claim that before it gets wasted. Social contradictions and discomfort. Geo! Hello. Whatever choice you. Okay, 
can level up once. Man, I probably should level up the capacity, but like, I need so much. I need so many levels in capacity before I get out of slightly heavy kind of range. So maybe I don't. I shouldn't even bother. Maybe I shouldn't even give a shit about it, you know? Hmm. Could always just go for more stamina. How are you, Geo? How's it going? Activity. Fuck it, let's go with technique. Why not? Three, six. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Will Eugenie say anything now that I'm at the collapse tower? I know my way around. No. I know my way around a weapon. Damn, I have eighty nine gold coin fruit. I thought I would be using it more, Stalker, please. but I haven't needed to. Uh, but that's a good thing. It's good. It's a good sign. So if I were to buy only recovery wish stones, I have enough to get uh, twenty-seven, eight, nine, twenty-nine. Of those, I believe. <laughs> 29 times 3, how much is that? That should be under 89. Let me see, 20 times 3 would be 60, right? And then the 7 would be. No, no, wait, sorry, I, I, I did that completely incorrectly. Just working while you stream, nice, nice. Um, 89, uh. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, 29. I did that correctly, I just thought weirdly. Gotta be audio only, though. <laughs> My connection is ass. That's alright. Uh, that's that's how Synchro has to watch it. Well, I listen, you know. <laughs> um, but regardless, I appreciate you being here. Man, I guess I'm gonna go up there at some point. Open up that shortcut. Yo, that's a big guy! He's got a gun, doesn't he? Is that like a... Oh, he, the other guy has a gun. I'm gonna see if I can get the, the sneak attack, please. Nope. Oh, I stunned him out of the thing? Whoa! I didn't know that was possible. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oh, oh, oh. And the guy still following me. It's a good thing that this other guy's blocking the hits. For oh, oh, oh. close to finishing P. I think so. I think I am. I, uh... I could be completely wrong, but I went through an area that was, like, the beginning of the game. Like, I I, I visited the spot where I it's literally spawned in the beginning of the game, which feels pretty, like, you know, just before the climax type of thing, you know what I mean? Oh, I see... He just hears you. <laughs> I timed that like just a frame on.
I wonder if you can even get a back attack on this guy. I don't think you can. Go ahead, do your attack. Clown. Definitely close to the end then, how many hours you got on it? I don't know. Uh, I'd have to check the save file. Does it say? Oh, playtime 34 hours. At least on that thing. But I don't know. I never really know how accurate those timers are. Because they don't feel accurate at all. <laughs> You know, in like any game. I'm always more willing to trust like the the trackers that are on excuse me. That are on like the launcher, like Steam or Xbox, you know, like that tracking. Even though that also counts the time when you're like loading and shit. But I still feel like that's more accurate. Am I gonna have to Oh, no. Oh. I hear another guy. Oh, it's a fucking... Another one of him. Fuck. Oh, you know what? I didn't mean to shoot another one. Can't just get behind. No, I mean like back attack, not like I'm literally hitting his back. I don't think they can because they they uh, automatically detect you once you're within a certain amount of range. Uh, I don't trust those at all. I'll measure by playtime, not by what Steam tells me, because I know I have over a thousand hours on RuneScape, but about a hundred is me. Yeah, that, that, but that's the thing though. Is like, I I think the. I've always felt like the, those trackers, the steam trackers, the launcher trackers, or whatever, I've always felt like those are more accurate than the in-game ones. Because I also think, like, I also feel like those playtime ones don't account for, like, when you load back a previous save, especially in games, like, where you can do that, you know? Like a big RPG game, where you can just load an older save. Like, all that time from the, from, from the point of the save that you're loading, to the point that you are now. All that time is just like a retcon, essentially. Whoa, you can stun him from behind? Oh, he's got a thing, I see. That canister- oh, it just respawned on his back, you see? They have, a, like, a canister on their back, and if I hit that, then they get- it, it does more, uh, stagger damage, it looks like. Um, Steam also tracks your hours when you put the PC on sleep. But when you're in the game. Who who puts your who puts their PC on sleep when they're in a game? Aside from laptop people. Fuck, wait, no. There you go. Primer for workshop technicians. You want to become a workshop technician? A primer for aspirants. No other city in the world today has been receiving more attention than Krat, the city of puppets. Back when the Almighty V visited, it was still just a fishing village. It has undergone a brilliant change in the past thirty years, spurred by Krat's puppet industry. The puppets made in Krat's workshop shops are known for using new technology that is on a different level from their competitors. The workshop puppets are intricate like humans, and they perform their master's orders so naturally that only people wonder if they have souls. Or that people only... Never mind, I don't know why I got... I read only from the next line. <laughs> that people wonder if they have souls. Many competitors try to replicate the workshop special mechanical hearts only to fail and prove the outstanding gap between their capabilities. The monopoly on the special power stone ergo. I felt like something was walking up on me, boy. I got, I worried there. 
Imagine playing a game overnight and then forget to turn off your PC, then you add fake hours. Yeah, no, I don't, I, I don't do that. <laughs> if I'm not gonna play a game, or if I'm gonna, like, go somewhere, or, like, fall asleep or something, I close everything. Um... The monopoly on the, on the special power stone, ergo, and the skills to optimize its efficiency, those are what give Krat's workshop its edge. But the workshop's beginning wasn't always smooth. The workshop history begins with one legendary craftsman, and his records are great manuals for the apprentices. The legendary craftsman G, whom every technician knows about. On the next page, we'll learn about his achievements. Omitted. I've only more recently started, uh, like, leaving my PC on overnight. Not with, like, anything, any game open, but, like, Chrome, I'll have, like, a video playing or whatever. Um, I've only more recently started doing that. But I, I wouldn't leave a game open or anything like that. Especially, like, th that's part of the reason, too, is, like, I don't, I wouldn't want the, the tracker to go up and have, like, false hours and shit. That's part of the reason why I would... Oh, I'm up here with this guy. There's a ladder there. I should get that, that item. Oh, and there's a chest right there? Hell yeah, I'm gonna... Oh my god. He self-destructs? I specifically do that with my laptop on my PC. Also, I lost my save for Blasphemous. Did you? Damn. How did that happen? What? It's not on the Steam Cloud? Yeah, doing that with a laptop I can I can get. Because like just the nature of laptops anyways, you'll probably be in situations where you need where you don't have time to turn it off. But also putting it to sleep is is, is as easy as just closing it, you know? Special cross supply box. Ooh. Oh, he might sell like a quartz or something. If I bring that back, he might have a quartz in the shop. That'd be fucking lit. Blasphemous isn't one of those games. Damn. You should just redo it, you know? Easy. It's an easy game, right? You know? <laughs> There's some games that have uh, said that they aren't supported by Steam Cloud, but then the, sa the saves will still be there. Like, uh, for example, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Um, I beat that a while ago and I uninstalled after I beat it, and then I reinstalled to play Ruin, um, and the save data was still there, even though it, it doesn't, like, Steam Cloud isn't supported or anything like that. But it might just be that that game, like, stores the saves. And I oh my god! It might just be that the that game stores its save files in a separate folder somewhere. I have no idea. But uh yeah. Let's hit that bonfire. It is easy, but I don't want to bore myself for six ish hours. Bore yourself, huh? <laughs> sure. There'll be plenty of raging to keep you, uh, occupied, you know? Ooh, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna go turn this in. Just to see if he has a course, because that would be fucking lit. I remember the game doing the same thing from Steam Deck to laptop. Mmm. I have never done that yet. Actually, no, that's a lie. I've done that with... Crash? I think the Crash Trilogy, I played the original one on PC, and then much later, I, and I, I never got around to playing the second and third one, and then much later when I got my Steam Deck, I played the second and third one there. Um, okay, I have a supply box, I can give it to this guy. No matter what fate brings serving her, welcome to... This is a supply box.
officially approved by the city of Krat. I shall open it and add it to the hotel shop. Many thanks, good sir. Many thanks, good sir. No matter what, serving her. Welcome to her. So what have you got now? What is this? Full Moonstone of the Covenant? Oh shit, I'm gonna need He does sell a quartz. Oh, and he sells a Legion Caliber. And a Cryptic Vessel? Bro. He sells a bunch of shit that I would love to have right now. Oh, this is of the Covenant though. Okay, so I don't really need to get that Full Moonstone. But I'm getting this quartz? Hell yeah. I'm getting the fucking Rustic Cryptic Vessel? Hell yeah. And I should probably get that Legion Caliber. You know? I mean, fuck it, I'll stream something else. I might play an old school horror game. Mm. Or play a new horror game. You know? <laughs> you should... What type of horror games do you like? Hmm. Should I get no the matter what serving her come? Yeah, I'll get it, fuck it. Oh, so I got a cryptic vessel and I can I can uh, crack it open and find out where to go and get a hopefully get another quartz. I Probably not, welcome, friend. but you know. Ah, oh, thank you for coming. I was going a bit stir crazy, as the poets say, cooped up in the hotel. Why don't I read the contents? Oh, I'm sick and tired of reading conversations between society's elite. Hide these, kill that, steal those. It's all the same. And the people who want them deciphered act as if it's the end of the world if they can't read them immediately. <laughs> Tiresome. I am a simple, albeit brilliant man. Solving the code is what makes me happy. And with a friend at my side, what more is there to wish for? Perhaps sometimes I share too much. <laughs> Thank you for listening. A little extra for you in there, my friend. <laughs> Little extra, you say? What did is gonna? I always welcome. He didn't give me shit. Unless he did. Okay. Find the cave blocked off by metal bars in the barren swamp. There is a reward at the end of the new road. Ah, so now that's open. There's a place called Hermit's Cave. An old man who went crazy after losing his family locked himself up there to pray. It's strange in this age to hear about a, uh, such a medieval sounding story in crop, but one thing's clear, it's a good place to hide treasure. Let's forget about the crazy old man, hide the stolen goods and take them back out once it quiets down. Who in their right mind would imagine there's treasure deep in a cave in the barren swamp? Once this panic is over, we'll be rich with the things we squirreled away. That kid's clothes smelled like, seemed like good quality too. Maybe that wolf girl fixed them up. They might be talking about those two stalkers that I met. That keep taking advantage of me. Less amount of jump scare. Don't like Calypso Protocol months of jump scare. Less amount of jump scare is better, but it has to have a bit to keep me in diapers while I play. Um, you should play. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know. You should play. You know what, you should play I'm on observation duty. Any of them. I would say like, start with the first one, why not? There's no real like, uh, there's no real like plot to it or anything, so you don't really have to worry about playing out of order. Um, the fuck is that? It's a, it's, it's like a spot the difference horror game. It's a game where you're, you're just watching cameras in a, in a building, and you're just like cycling through cameras, and then shit's changing. And it can it can range from like very subtle things, like a cup moving, you know, slightly to the right, or like a very noticeable thing, like oh now there's just a head on the ground in the middle of the floor, you know. Um, and it can be very it can be stuff that's kind of funny, or it can be stuff that's scary, you know. And there are a couple of jump scares 
you know? Uh, that it's all chance too, so you could complete the game without even running into any like jump scare type things. Uh, but it's very good. It's it it's it's very good at like building tension, and it's fun to play. And it's I I like it. I like the game. I played all of them so far, except for the newest one. I haven't played that one yet, but I want to. Um, but it's essentially spot the difference. It's spooky spot the difference. <laughs> Perfect guard caused stiffness. Okay, so not this, not that. Which, oh fuck, which one did I want to get? I wanted to get like a <sighs> grinder weapon durability recovery speed or maybe like something that makes me consume less stamina. That would be really nice. Or, you could play, uh, the complex found footage. I will tell you exactly what it's called. Yes, the complex found footage. That's a backrooms horror game, and it's, in my opinion, it's really good. It's really short, so you could knock it out in one stream for sure. It's like under an hour. Um... I, my playtime on it is 43 minutes on Steam, so you could knock that out quickly and then just hop into another game. Yeah, Backrooms game. Um, but it's a really good one. That one's like super like... They have, <clears throat> they have like filters on it that make it look super realistic. It's so like immersive. And it, it just the whole time I was playing it, I was like... Because I was playing it and I was screen sharing it to Blue. Uh, while I was playing it to, you know, check it out. It's a free one, by the way. Um, and the whole time, I was just like, I don't feel com I don't feel comfortable. I'm nervous. I don't, I, you know, I don't, I don't like, I don't want to walk around this corner or whatever. I heard about a Doom Mod that's horror. Yeah, that's probably, um, my house dot wad. Uh, Happy Wolf was telling me about it, and he linked me, like, uh, the, the blog post or, no, the forum post that has it. Um, you have to like mod it in. I don't think it, it should. It's probably not too difficult to set it up, but yes, I've heard about that. I've heard it's like terrifying, um, and I'm interested in that. But just the, the like the setup is having to set it up is. I'm just like eh, being lazy. But I do. I would do want to try that out. It's called My House. My House dot W A D because that's like the map file or whatever. Um, but yes, the complex found footage. It's a free backrooms horror game. It's like an hour long. They, the same people came out with a sequel called The Complex Expedition, which is $10, and I want to I wanna get it, because the first one was really good. Even though it's like super short, it's it's like, it's definitely, in my opinion, out of all, I've only played a couple Backrooms games, and I've seen like more, but that one's definitely like the most immersive and like unsettling one, for sure. Uh, I'm going to get I'm going to get lower stamina consumption when pulse cells are discharged. Lowers the stamina consumption of all actions when pulse cells are discharged. That sounds good. And now I have perfect guard cost cause stiffness. Perfect guard cause stiffness. So I should go for increases special grindstone uses. That might be good. It's it's cool. It might be better to go for the amulet slot. Special grindstone uses. I'll decide when I get another quartz. <clears throat> but yeah, since uh, since that Doom one, I would need to find. Uh, I would need to know where to get the Doom ROM essentially, because <laughs> I don't. I don't know where I would get that safely. Because uh, you you'd need to emulate Doom in order to, you know mod that map in, but I do want to, I would like to check that out. You know what, maybe I should grab the gold coin real quick before I buy Doom from Steam. Oh, I could do that too, yeah. I forgot that the original ones are on Steam. <laughs> Excuse me.
It's Doom 2, I think, not the first one. It's, it's, yeah, I think it's a Doom 2 map. Uh, when I briefly looked at the forum post for it. Yeah, I think it is Doom 2. Wait. Oh, no, no. We want to go check out the... The thing. I think it's Bridge. Burn Swamp Bridge. <laughs> Might have Doom 2. Nice. I could check real quick, actually. I could pull up the link. It shouldn't be hard to find. Uh, just to make sure it's Doom 2. Yes. It's a Doom 2 map, it looks like. Oh nice, he did open up the thing. Oh, you're here! See? I told you I'd do it. No trace of Alidoro inside, though. And the Hermit's Cave itself is too deep for me. My next stop is the relic of Trismegistus, one of Alidoro's favorite treasure hunting grounds. I'm curious why he'd go back there time after time. Oh, maybe I'm getting the hang of this sort of work. See you later, treasure hunter. I'm trying to track down... Alright, well, this is the Hermit's Cave, right? I, I have a feeling we're gonna find... Look at that fucking tripwire right there. Look how obvious that tripwire is. Look at that. It's not even like... It has like different lighting, too. <laughs> well, that lets me know that I'm going to be walking into the fucking... Blight Town, I guess. Let's watch out for that. Oh yeah, it's fucking dingy as hell down here. Oh. I could choose to go this way. Get that item. Oh boy, I really hope this... <laughs> this wooden... Ah, ah, ah! Okay, I'm good. I'm... I barely... I got so lucky that I landed on the platform. I was not expecting it to just be the way it was. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> let, uh, let me be more careful as I explore this, this locale. Look at those fucking dudes hanging on the edge. Look, there's fucking three of them. They're all trying to surprise me whenever I go to whatever area that is. I have a feeling that's a hole. Right there, that's definitely a hole. Someone's report notes notebook. This place is contaminated too. There isn't much extra water left. The kind hermit helped me. But he knows he's not going to last much longer, either. Terrible mutations from the side effects of the petrification disease neutralization process. Many people of Krat will turn into carcasses, the alchemist monster. My friends are the only thing that comes to mind in my final moments. Lumaccio is ill. Sophia is missing. Lorenzini lost hope. H is dead. And here I am, Medoro. Sofo Sophia? Isn't Sophia the... The looker? The listener, I mean? We risked, our, we risked our lives and fought from each post, but sometimes there there are no rewards. Still, some things are left. Something even power and lies can't hide. The truth. Someone will unearth the truth. Someone will unveil the lie. Taking the extra step forward for the people coming behind. I believe that was my role. I am Medoro the reporter. 
My weapon was, was my pen and the truth. Now I leave my records to you who visit this place. From Medora. Well. Rip Medora, I guess. Maybe we'll find him and he'll be like a Ligma monster. A Ligmoid. Resplendent Ergo Fragment. <coughs> I have ideas for... I have like two games in mind. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Two spooky games in mind that I could stream. Uh, because it's like Halloween month. I mean, it, I probably should... I was thinking like I might, you know... Uh, basically, I take a little break from Lies of P to play those games. Um, but every time I am like, oh, I should stream now, I just like immediately go on Lies of P. <laughs> so... Actually, I might have three ideas for spooky games to play. Oh, not that lady. Oh, she's annoying. And there's a tripwire blocking the exit. Brodeo. Oh, you know what? Huh. Never mind. You can't jump over that. That would have been cool if you could. But apparently you can't. I just to be so tanky. Ow. Come on. And boom. Okay. Cluster grenade, radiant air go fragment. Okay, this is the beginning ladder, right? Uh, yeah, I have my setup complete for my classic spooky spooks, but I don't know which one to start. I wanted to play Clock Tower 3 or Kuan, or Rule of Rose, or Silent Hill 2 and 3. I don't know. I've never heard of Kuan. Or Rule of Rose. So maybe one of those. Or maybe the other, like, Clock Tower or uh, Silent Hill might get you... More views. I'm a little worried that a fucking hole is gonna open up on the ground and just drop me to death. Like all the other holes that I've come across, at least most of them that I can recall, um, it's uh... Oh shit, could I make that jump? Should I even try to make that jump? That looks really risky. And there doesn't seem to be a reason for me to go there. So no, I'm gonna go the other way. Um... I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> uh, Kuan is a From Software game? Well, it was an Atlas game, but apparently it's extremely off the wall. Aren't Atlas games still off the wall. <laughs> Atlas is the Persona team, right? The Persona company? Go ahead, drop down. Alright, let me deal with this guy first. Fight me. Man, would you drop down already so I could, like, fight you? Oh, there you go. Hmm. <laughs> Would've been funny if they just ran off the edge there. Okay. Moonstone. Uh, it's a crazy ass game from what I heard. It's also crazy expensive on the wild. In fact, I think it's the rarest game for the PS2. Oh. Nice. That would explain why I have never heard of it.
at least partially, you know. Well, there are freaking dudes in here. Huh. Quartz? Oh, fuck yeah. Ow. Oh, not one of you! Boom. Ow. I don't know this, this spot. I, I feel very uncomfortable fighting here. Ow. Ow, ow. Alright, you know what? Hit her with a whoop bang. Decapitated her. Ugh. I have a burn disc of the game, so I might. I mean, I might as well see what 1K looks like. Well, you know, rare doesn't always mean good. <laughs> It's like the, the Zelda CDI games, you know? Those games are abysmal. But they are rare. This content. <laughs> You gotta put, like, rarest game on the PS2? Like, in all caps in the title. And then you have to have, like, a thumbnail of you pogging. Electric Blitz Abrasive. I haven't missed any items, have I? Hope not. There's a bonfire right here. And pretend like I own it. <laughs> you don't necessarily need to. Hermit's Cave. Collapse Street. Uh, okay, let's go to... Let's turn in... Bad Quartz. Because why not? You know, get some new shit. Now do I want to... Add an additional amulet slot, or do I want to um do the other thing? <laughs> I forget what it is that um oh, I was looking away. Uh, fuck. What do, what do I want to do? Amulet slot. I don't think I want to do the fable slots. I I don't use it as as much as I should. Special grindstone uses. That sounds pretty good, though. To be honest, to be fair, increases special grindstone uses. <coughs> increases the number of amulet equipable slots. Increase the maximum number of charge fable slots. Increases the maximum number of special grindstone uses. Increases the number of amulet equipable slots. I think I might do that. That sounds really good. Increases destruction damage to enemies when a perfect guard is successful. Enhances legion arm attack when more than half a legion remains, and increases the duration of effect based fable lords. Enhances the stagger attack of charge attacks. <laughs> enhances the attack of fable lords. Reduces weapon durability consumption. Reduces the amount of enemies' natural HP recovery when attacking them with a weapon.
Uh, lowers the damage received when dodging. Enhances resistance to special status ailments. Lowers the guard regain reduction. Recovers some of guard regain as HP when a perfect guard is successful. Enhances resistance to trash be thing easy. Oh, increases the maximum number of pulse cell uses. Oh, I might just do that. <laughs> increases the maximum number of pulse cell uses. Fuck it, yeah. So now I should have eight. Yeah. A lot of pulse cells now. Quartz is a very pog <laughs> item to get, you know? Get some perks and shit. Oh wow, you're just gonna sit right there on the ladder? Do you see me? Dark Moon, Moonstone of the Covenant. That's a big boy! It's a large lad. Maybe I should get the one that reduces the weapon durability consumption. I've been pretty good with managing that. But it might help uh me for boss fights that last pretty long. Man, I gotta fight one of these things. Should I use the thing? Fuck it. Alright, fight me. Oops. Oh my god. Fire. Need my stamina. Oh. He missed? Oh, I got disrupted. Oh, that's what killed me. Fuck. I completely fucking forgot about that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize disruption just kills you as soon as you get, like, fully disrupted. I thought that was the other thing. Damn! Disruption occurs when disruption damage builds up. When the disruption damage gauge fills up, your character will die. Wow, thanks for telling me now. I thought that was the other thing. Oh well. He's literally right there, so... We'll get our shit back. Come at me. Fire. Could be bothered then, I don't know what the fuck he did to you. Oh no, no, it wasn't him. It wasn't the big guy, it was that crystal. That killed me. <laughs> like, he, he didn't do any of that. That, that, the thing that killed me was the crystal, like, uh... It, it makes that area give me, like, disruption over time. And... I can probably destroy it with one... Blast, hopefully. Nope, it's gonna take two. But I wasn't paying attention to the meter building up, and it cost me. <laughs> he almost knocked me out the fucking. How? Yeah, see, he doesn't do too much. Go ahead, do your leap, you fucking freak. Oh, I didn't know he was gonna have a second hit there. Oh, 
Ooh, that was like a delayed one. Oh, uh, yeah, those are two different leaps. Uh, okay. That's fine. Things are actually looking pretty good, to be honest. Oh! And... Boom! Fuck. You know, let me get the... Oh, you bitch! Whoops, I didn't block that. Oh, he did the longer one! Got him. <laughs> Excuse me. Black Steel Cutter. Hmm. Is it like fire damage? It kind of looked like it was like molten or something, you know? <sighs> Hopefully he doesn't respawn. Like if I die and I have to go through this again, I hope he doesn't respawn. But he just might. A throwing cell, huh? You want me to throw shit at people? I mean... I could. I'll, I'll have it... Oh, look at you! Look at you. Fell to your death. Like a dummy. Oops. these fucking losers trying to get sneak attacks on me. I'm dropping from the skies and shit. These clowns. Oh, you know what? They might actually... That throwing cell might actually be so I could take out the disruption crystal thing. Which... Why not? I'll do that. Yeah, get close to that. Oh, I didn't hit him. Okay. Huh. Hey, Geo, who's your favorite uh, movie killer? Like, slasher? Like, Freddy Krueger, Jason, etc. Leatherface. I guess you could count, like, Predator and Alien. Who's, who's your favorite movie a killer? The Thing? You know, I don't think I've actually ever seen The Thing. Ever. <laughs> um, I think that is one movie I have not seen. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I, I, there's a lot of movies I haven't seen actually. To be honest, I don't even think I saw Predator or Alien. <laughs> oh, the water is strange. I'm not sure when it started, but my tears and blood have also turned blue. I do want to watch those movies though. At some point, I'll get around to watching them. Wait, <laughs> you haven't seen, there's a lot of, yes, there's a lot of classics that I have not seen. I've seen the revelation of the blue butterfly. They have asked me to free them from this prison of time. I was going to say my favorite killer is Chucky. <laughs> that's my, my favorite killer. Oh, that's a, that, oh, that guy's going to be annoying, huh? Wait, is that going to be Maduro? Wait, hold on, I want to read what that thing said again, because I didn't really register in my brain. I've seen the revelation of the blue butterfly. They've asked me to free them from this prison of time. Blue butterfly? The fairy is far. The fairy is crying. The hands on the clock have gone round and round to find the boy's future. The boy? Me? You've never seen Alien or Predator? Have you seen all the Chucky movies? I have. I have, I have seen all the Chucky movies, but... It's been so long. I've seen them when I was young. Um, uh, it's been so long that I 
don't remember a lot. I I had recently, and I say recently, when I I mean like within the last three years, uh, I'd recently rewatched the first three with my mother, um, because we were talking about them and we we're like, oh yeah, I want to see the, I want to see them again. Um, I believe the first three. I remember the first two, and the third one I remember. He's in like the military school or whatever. I remember that. I I can't remember if we finished it. Because I feel like there was one day where we, we didn't have time to finish a movie, so we put it, the we like had to stop it part way and then put it off for the, the other day. Can't remember if we went back and finished it. I don't I rem I remember a lot of what was happening in three. I don't remember how it ends. Uh, so there's that. And then Seed of Chucky and Bride of Chucky. Bride of Chucky, Seed of Chucky. I barely remember shit. And then uh, I saw Curse and Cult. Um. Which I remember more so because I saw them more recently. But I, I think I might need a refresher on on what happened at the end of Colt, like what exactly happened at the end of Colt. Because I I remember the general thing, but I don't remember the the exact details. <laughs> Free ninety nine. Use it to watch all the classics. A lot of them, I, we have a lot of uh, streaming services that they probably are on there, because we have a lot. We have like Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, Paramount, a lot. It's probably on there somewhere. Um, we, we're watching the new Chucky series, which is like, you know, a direct follow-up to the cult of Chucky. Um, and it's, it's pretty fun. It's a fun show. Chucky is definitely my my favorite killer. Man, I remember <laughs> I remember there was one Halloween. Uh one October where some channel was giving like Ah shit, it was giving like horror movie marathons. And they were giving the marathon of the Friday the thirteenth films. Uh and my older sister was was here. She was, uh, ah, shit. She was spending the, the week with us. Uh, so we were watching, shit. We were watching the Friday the 13th movies, and we were like, you know, we were, we were watching it, and we were like kind of making fun of it, because like, you know, th it's a little bit of goofiness to it. Like, there's one scene, I forget which one it is in, it's either two or three, where, uh, fucking, a woman's hiding under the bed from Jason, and Jason, he looks around the bedroom, you know, she, you can see from her point of view, you can see his legs step around the bed and shit, and then she stops seeing his feet, right? And she's like, oh, it's safe, take it out, and she steps out, <laughs> she crawls out from the bed, and it turns out Jason didn't leave, he was still there, he was just like standing on like a box, but then after she comes out of the fucking thing, the box he's standing on just like breaks and he falls over <laughs> and it gives her an opportunity to run away and, I, and we, me and my older sister just couldn't help but laugh because it was so like goofy it makes me like wonder because I know like I, I understand like older horror movies were definitely scary back then for sure I understand that um, even like the stuff that looks dated like the special effects were probably terrifying back then. That, that's something I can understand. But I wonder if that scene was scary back then, where he just like fell. He just fucking like fumbled. It was so goofy the way it looked too. Perhaps it's better to end this way. Oh. Well, the getting's good. That was Medoro, huh? Figured, I figured. Uh, but I, I mean, you're missing Alien, Aliens, Predator thing. Probably should like the Exorcism. I haven't seen the Exorcism, uh, original one. Terminator: Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead. Friday the Thirteenth was fucking goofy in his day. And straight to VHS, bro. They knew that shit was garbage. <laughs> Don't they have like ten of them, or something? They had Jason X, right? Was that was that the tenth one? And he's like in space or whatever. I seen I saw the first like three I think of the Jason film and I saw Freddy versus Jason. 
Um, Misty Ira, Ira, I don't know how you say that. Record that can be discovered in cry. It can be used with a gramophone in the hotel. To protect the people you love, sometimes you must take steps through uncertain times and stand up again. Even in this era when you can't see ahead of you, a piano rings with emotion, Misty Era, to accompany the foggy mornings of cry. I'll have to play that when I go back to um, thingy. Okay. Did I get another note too, or was it just the that? Okay, I think it was just that. Jason X was hot garbo. <laughs> I imagine. I never actually saw it. I just remember <clears throat> as a kid uh, seeing the box for it because my parents had, you know, all of them on DVD. And I remember seeing the box for it, and the box was like, the Jason mask was like more like metal, you know? It was like made of metal or some shit. That's the only thing I know about it. And I've heard that it's about, like, Jason in space. <sighs> A thingy? I leave the butterflies writing here. Remember, you are human. Now it's time to get out of the string. Remember, you are human. Am I human? Oh, I guess it's because of the Ergo, huh? And a quartz! Yeah. Black Cat's hunting apparel. It is an extra set stolen by robbers who were drawn to its quality. As a cat who had lived alone in the slums, he trusted no one but himself. However, his mind had changed completely when he met the fox. The fox. Oh yeah, I forgot my hair is luscious now. <clears throat> but I do want to watch the stuff like Alien, <laughs> Predator, stuff like that. Um, I'd rewatch uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I saw it, but I don't remember anything. I literally remember nothing. So I would watch it again, because I think I saw it as a kid, so... You know. Wait, was there nothing else there? So stupid, he basically chases a girl into Antarctica where he gets frozen in a thousand years or some shit like that. People excavate him, he gets revived and starts killing the space crew with lightsabers, cryo-liquid and other crazy ways. That's... That sounds fun! It doesn't sound scary, but it sounds like a fun movie. Speaking of cryo, cryo, Gen X and stuff like that, is that a thing? Now, like, have have they finally discovered whether or not that's possible to like cryogenically freeze someone and like keep them alive, and then you know, <laughs> uh, preserve them, and then like they can be thawed out? Is that did have they done tests for that? It's not possible. Okay. I feel like if it was, it'd have to be something other than coldness, right? It'd have to be something that solidifies your whole body, but like, not cold, right? Because then you just die of, like, hypothermia or something, I don't know. <laughs> not even a theory. They had to have tested it though, right? They had to. There's no way, there's, there's, there's no way there wasn't a scientist that didn't test it. It's the nature of science. Your brain is too mushy to freeze. The moment you thaw the brain, it literally turns your brain to soup. Oh, really? See, that I did not know. That's interesting. But what if they could find a way? To do, what if they could do a thing where they stick a needle in your brain and inject it with some sort of substance that prevents it from goopifying upon freezing, you know? 
because it's not like people don't get shots in their brains. It happens, you know? That's the thing. Also, your body gets freeze burned around cold temps. That makes sense. They'll find it someday. They'll, they'll, they'll be some bullshit. It'll be some shit like, oh, you have to... Before we put you in this pod, you have to consume this pill. And this pill will distribute a fucking substance that'll activate your hormones and make like your uh, make your body produce this chemical that will help with the freezing process or some shit. If they're able to scoop your brain, what haven't I turned into a cyborg yet? Scoop your brain? Can they scoop your brain? Oh, there was a brain transplant recently, wasn't there? Was that a thing? I feel like I remember seeing that. Or a head transplant. That might have been what it was. There was one successful one, like, fairly recently, I think. Oh, let me put this quartz in. They've done a head transplant. That's wild to think of. That's a little scary to think about, too, actually. Did, did that person live? Like, are they still alive? Or was that the kind of thing where, like, it was successful, but then that person died, like, within a year or something? You know what I mean? Like... That's one of those things where it's like stepping into the territory of like playing God, you know? Yeah, they kill you for like a couple of hours as well. That's that is wild. The dude's alive apparently. That that is crazy. And it it's the dude. It's the head that is the person that's alive, right? Or is it the body? You know what I mean? Like, did a guy who needed a head transplant? have his head cut off and another head put on him and he's alive? It's the that dude? Or is it the dude that came with the head, you know? <laughs> they keep your brain alive while the transplant happens? Yeah, but imagine. It has to, wouldn't they? Okay, so I can't get a survival type one. I need to get some other shit. That's crazy. See, that that's what... that That is like a thing when, that the more you think about it, the more it's like... worrying. Or it's like scary, at least conceptually. Because it's like, oh damn, what does that say about like the consciousness, you know what I mean? Like us, like what are we, you know, like what is the soul, or quote unquote, whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's wild. That's fucking bonkers. I would assume the, the other person. Two people went in there, one person came out alive, is basically what I'm saying. <laughs> right? There's no way both of them are living. It must have been someone who was just going to die anyways, right? Like who was already... maybe they had like a terminal illness or something? <coughs> wait, wait! So was it, okay, guy A, is it that they took off his head, but they kept his brain, and then put his brain in the in guy B's head, but put guy B's head on guy A's body? Is that how that worked? There's a lot of questions. <laughs> a lot of questions to ask about this. Uh, reduces the amount of enemies' natural HP recovery when attacking them with a weapon. Reduces weapon durability consumption. Enhances the attack of fable arts. Enhances the stagger attack of charge attacks. Increases the duration of effect based Fable Arts. Enhances Legion Arm Attack when more than half the Legion remains. Increases destruction damage to enemies when a perfect guard is successful. I might. Hmm. Either I'll do the one where it, it uses up less weapon durability, or. Oh, that's really tough, actually. Reduces weapon durability consumption. Or increases the duration of effect fa effect based fable arts. That sounds good too. Oh, never mind. The head transplant was a troll post. Oh, okay. Re never mind then. <laughs> I 
I did see one thing that was real though about um someone who was paralyzed. They put like a chip in their brain to read signals, and that chip would then communicate to like these peripherals that would then move the limbs or whatever that they that were paralyzed prior. I think something like that. Or I think I think it was either that or it was like something where it was that exact same thing, but instead of moving a limb it was like speaking through a machine or something. Nerve net? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what it was called. But it was something where it was a person who was paralyzed and they put a chip in their brain and like hooked it up to stuff and it read the signals that the brain was giving out, you know. Um that the body wasn't responding to, and it would then... I think it was like a voice thing. <laughs> Sword Art Online. No, that's Nerve Gear. Reduces the amount of enemies' natural HP recovery. Reduces the amount of enemies' natural HP recovery when attacking them with a weapon. Reduces weapon durability consumption. Uh, enhances the stagger attack of charge attacks. Increases the duration of effect face fable arts. Enhances legion arm attack team minimum one half of legion remains. Man, it's tough. There's a lot of options. And a lot of them are pretty good. Reduces the amount of enemies. Reduces the amount of enemies' natural HP recovery when attacking them with a weapon. That sounds pretty good. Reduces weapon durability consumption. Increases the duration of effect based fable arts. <laughs> I'll do. Maybe I'll do the stronger Legion arm. Mm. Reduces weapon durability consumption. Reduces the amount of enemies' natural HP recovery when attacking them with a weapon. <clears throat> Fuck, I don't know, I don't know! <laughs> I'll do the... their HP recovery. God, it's so hard to choose sometimes. But nice, we got two cords out of that! Two! Oh, I could've been playing the, the record while we were <laughs> looking at that. Whoops, my bad. Misty Era. Strange. It feels like a portion of my memory has been cut away from me. It hurts so much. It's not like a real wound, but still. Strange, it hurts so Rip. And there are five gold coins in there. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's listen to this record and chill and chat, so I can get the uh, <laughs> thing the ergo is whispering or whatever. At the house of Vanini. At the house of Vanini. I always welcome. Doesn't seem like anyone has anything new to say. I know my way around a weapon. I know my way around a weapon. Or you can watch the thing in three minutes. <laughs> Is that how you want me to experience the thing? Is watch it for three minutes? Wait, is Aladoro here? He is still here. The fake Aladoro. A great is. weapon calls for a great. Show me that you're worthy to wield it. The Arm of God amulet actually sounds pretty good. I can't lie. 
two screens, one for the game, one for the movie. <laughs> then you'd be hearing the movie on the stream. Let's, uh, let's use up some Ergo. Wait, how many things do I have? Six. Nice. There you go. Whatever choice. And we'll do. More technique? 315. Fuck it, more technique. Song's almost done. <laughs> Watch party. Can't do that. That's copyrighted. Well, if you put it on YouTube. <laughs> no, there's live copyright stuff now, too. Pretty sure. I know I remember seeing stuff about music that it's. Uh, <laughs> I can't do it live either. Even though there's times where I'll see people who are affiliated or. Okay, we we explored the Hermit's Cave. Let's go to Collapse Tree. Uh, I see people who are affiliated or people who are partnered or whatever the fuck on Twitch, and they're playing clearly copyrighted music, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> How? There was one dude that I saw because another person, a friend, linked their channel in the chat and I randomly clicked it to see what they were like talking about. <clears throat> and it was a dude who was streaming like League of Legends or whatever, and he was not doing voice, there was no voice, it was just like League of Legends and copyrighted music playing in the background. And I was like, how is it? And he was like partnered and shit, because he had like all the channel points and shit. And I was like, how is this guy not getting like, just annihilated by fucking Twitch bots, you know? Hell yeah, Viewbotter. Oh, uh, maybe, I mean, he was ta he was talking in the chat. Like, not with voice, but in the text chat. He was talking. Like, you know, he, he was chatting, I should say. Oh, no. So, I don't know. I mean... He just wasn't doing voice. It's all parts of the world. Alright, here are Ligmoids in here. Are you inside here? You gonna... No. Hmm. Be all right. <clears throat> oh, you. I killed someone like you. I think in the grand exhibition there was one. One person that was like them. You alone up here? You better be. You're a boss? Or like a mini boss. Okay, mini boss. Oh, fucking samurai over here. Ow. Uh. Oh, you got two weapons, huh? Can't dodge those. And oh, you fucking dodge! What is that? You get a what? Oh, what? Don't do that. 
Don't ever do that again. Fuck. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting the extra stab. I'm glad that I was sidestepping. Why doesn't your shit break? Would explain the illusions. I was hoping to hit both of them with that, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, fucking fight two of them. Oh, this is the illusion. Oh, I see. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Switching. Wow, this is significantly weaker. I was just switching to give my fucking axe a break so it could heal up. I meant to do the dodge one. No, do the dodge first. What are you doing? There you go. Uh. Oh. Don't bullshit me, don't bullshit me. Dead. You're almost fucking dead. Shit. No, come on. Boom. Oh, got him first try. Nice. That was very close, though. God damn. Legion caliber out of that. Maybe I should go down and heal. They won't respawn, would they? No, right? I got a Legion caliber out of that. There's no way they'd make them respawn. There's not gonna be a bonfire here, is there? Victor could not be completed. May she become the owner of the truly complete elixir. Alright, you know what, let me... Let me get my shit back, just in case. <clears throat> the bonfire's right here. I don't want to take that elevator and then be asked out. <laughs> Although, to be fair, that probably is... Uh... Probably would have led me to a new bonfire, anyways, but just in case. <laughs> I hope it doesn't respawn them.
Yeah, they're not wailing and crying. Alright, cool. Shit, the hotel. In danger. Head to the hotel and hurry. Oh, shit. Through Ergo. An interesting parlor trick. This fucking guy, Simon. Like performance, Papa took you pass out. But your lives will be useless in the new world. The world of truth. But you are worth studying. Could it be? Come on, pal. No time to lose. What do you mean, what could it be? <laughs> Everyone's in danger, and you're saying, what could it be? Half Moonstone. This does, this does feel like I'm near the end of the game. I won't be able to fast travel, will I? Level up. Oh, I can level up here. The stargazer isn't transmitting. And I'm not sure why. Ah, oh, this was a bust, pal. Let's get back to the hotel quickly. You know, walking works. Let's walk. Damn, alright. So, there's something horrible in front of the hotel. It might be worse than what we saw at the cathedral. Alright, tighten up your springs and let's go. Half Moon Sun, Legion Magazine. I hear a big guy clunking around. Wait, which way am I going? Wait, is he? Was that? Is that Simon? Okay, so I got the Trinity key. That's lit. I actually remember seeing a Trinity door 
I'm trying to remember where exactly it was. It was somewhere in a recent area that we had revisited. Uh, fuck, I don't know which way to go. There's two ways to go, and I'm not... I don't remember which way is the way to the hotel. I'm hoping... Oh! This! This is the way to the hotel, I think. Yes, this is where I fought the first boss. Okay, so then this is the way I need to go, right? <clears throat> so the other way... is extra? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. You see this shit? Oh, my God. That's a boss fight. That is absolutely a boss fight. We're gonna fight him, for sure. But I wanna go to the optional side first. But I don't... I, I'm so confused. That is the way... I, I'm pretty sure that's the way. To the hotel, I think. But this area looked like it had mad shit to it. Like, there were those disruption crystal things. I mean, maybe it just leads to a dead end, which would be nice. Oh, a butterfly, huh? No, I know, I know, I know, let me get the butterfly, let me get it, I want the butterfly before it vanishes, uh... Alright, I got him. Alright, now, we can fight. Most oh, side blocks were, but that's fine. You're weak, you're nothing. Oh! I there's no backstab for this guy. <laughs> Excuse me. And what bam! And ah, oh, I forgot he has that. And then I can hit him with a what bam! Oh my stamina! Oh, I missed. And you're dead. It's gotta be a dead end here, right? No? Half Moonstone? Oh, it is a dead end, huh? Okay, good. Dim ergo chunk. Resplendent ergo fragment. Okay, good. It is a dead end. Nice. In that case, I will rest. Man, I can't... I have a... The Stargazer is in trans I have a Trinity key. As soon as I get the ability to fast travel again, I need to go to... where that Trinity door is. Actually, could I go there by foot now? Probably not, right? No, I think I need to 
do this first. Excuse me. Oh yeah, there's a fucking like boss here waiting for me. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> Excuse me. Is it just like a Ligma version of the guy before? Or I don't rain on my parade, it is. It is a Ligma version. Timing's a little strange. Fuck. Swing it so wide. Oh! He spawns ads? Bro. Ugh. Oh, he has a fucking bro, bro. Yo, he's a wild. He's crazy. He does decay stuff. Oh. Boom. I only needed to hit him with one, then. That was a waste. That's fine. Now I know. Oh, I forgot he does that now. Oh my god, and he crawls while he does that? This guy's crazy. Fucking let you? No, of course not. I throw a little tantrum. Oh, he didn't. He didn't do it that time. Oh, he decayed me. I'm decayed. Ah, shit. Am I still decayed? No, I'm not. Okay, good. Oh, I did the fucking wrong- and he grabbed me. Shit. Ah, I'm decaying again. I didn't mean to stick you. Alright, I don't wanna fucking... So I'm doing that. Shit. Oh, not the grab again! Shit, shit, shit. Uh, you're almost dead. Just die with dignity. Oh, he spawned a fucking weapon boy this time. Ah! Ah, just fucking die. I got him. Ooh. You better not fucking more. I killed him first try. Hey, and I got a course from that? Lit. 
Oof. Killed him first try. Let's fucking go. Okay, clocking out finally. I'll catch you later. So, all right, Geo. See you, man. Did you see that? Did you, did you witness me killing this boss on the first try? Did you witness my glory? Come on, you had to have at least witness that. Fetal. Um, I don't know if I should move ahead or if I should just go back and save. Or not save, but so what's happening now? Rest. Let's get back to the hotel and our friends. Yeah, let me rest first, just in case. Nothing else in the boss room, right? No. All right, so we should be able to level up. Can I level up my weapon here? If I can, then I probably should. Switch Legion Arm. Oh, I can't level up either. The Stargazer isn't true, you know? Wait, I can't level up. Teleport to another Stargazer. Switch Legion Arm, assemble weapons. Oh shit, okay. One, eight. I thought I used both cubes. I guess I didn't. At least we rested, so we got our stuff back. But I would have felt a lot more comfortable if I could have <laughs> leveled up there. Just looking around real quick before I advance. Me fight another boss immediately. That would suck. There was a bunch of dead puppets, I guess. Yeah, a lot of dead puppets. Is there anything around the sides? Nothing on the sides. Alright, who's here? Who's fucking with my friends? Cursed Knight. Hypocrite. Sophia's still here. Oh, lagging. Ah, shit. You're alive. I was worried because I didn't hear from you. The stalkers have kidnapped Geppetto. It was the fox, the cat, and the black rabbit brotherhood. But really, I sense Simon is behind this. First, go to the second floor and make sure everyone is okay. I'll try to figure out where they ran off to. 
Antonia might know a secret passage. Try asking her. First. Go Antonia first. Antonia might Damn, I was hoping I could level up before I do anything. Damn. It was fucking Alador or the fake Alador, huh? It's cause I let him here. I like how these puppets are still active. Fine, I guess I'll check on everyone. Or repair the Stargazer, hell yeah. Let's go with... Two, two, three... Three, one, six. Hmm. Man, that capacity limit is fucking wild. I'm gonna need to raise it though, because I'm gonna equip a new amulet after I put the quartz in. <clears throat> Fuck it, fine. Oh, I can teleport now. Okay, where was that other... Here, I think it was? Should I just go? Yeah, I'm gonna go do that real quick. Pretty sure it's right here. I'll be back! Don't die on me! I think, like, right there is the Trinity door. Nope. Uh, the other side? Yeah, here. Yeah! Remember the Metal Angel. We are simply on a journey that follows his footsteps. Song of the Day. The pickpocket who was overconfident in a gamble had his heart stolen and died. Quartz? Carrier's amulet. Plus one? Workshop Master's workwear? Is that like Geppetto's outfit? Kraut's wealth came from machinery and trams, weapons and automated puppets. Geppetto and the workshop union were the prophets and adventurers of go this golden path. That's what Geppetto wears, isn't it? I got a new fucking... I got a carrier's amulet plus, hell yeah. <laughs> of course it weighs a little bit more. Uh, let's see, I'm at 64%. Slightly heavy, let's see. If I put the plus one on. I'm no longer slightly heavy! Let's fucking go! Synchry, hello! Welcome. Yeah, you did miss Geo. Maybe he'll come back. He's clocking out, so maybe he, he'll hop back on soon or whatever. Nice. 57%. Carrier's amulet plus one. Hell yeah. Where 
Let's go back to Hotel Croc. Let's go check on the humans. Actually, let me check if Alidoro's here. He's probably not, but... Yeah, of course. He's gonna be gone. Hello? They wouldn't be over there. That's... Was uh, Isabel Street? Was Isabel Street? Hello. Let me get the gold coins first, and then I'll <laughs> chat with everyone. Actually, no, there's only like two. I should wait for it. Who, who's there? I'll never open this door. You might as well give up. Oh, it's you. Is it safe out there? Give me a sec. Okay. Come in. Damn. This is some heavy ass doors. I'm sorry, child. Geppetto has been kidnapped. You are here. That's a relief. Being trapped somewhere. It's the worst. It's good to be free. Oh, sorry. I should be thanking you first. When you came in, you reminded me of the Hound. Probably because both of you saved my life. Thank you so much. You're here. It's good to be- When you came in- You cannot use this right now still? You have my personal thanks for saving Master Benini, sir. Do look after him, won't you, sir? You have to look after him. Thank you for another timely rescue, compagno. I seem to find myself once again in your debt. I talk a big game, but when push comes to shove, I freeze. It'd be funny if it weren't so pathetic. Surely there must be something that only I, in all my genius, can contribute. But if there is not, then Vedini is here to help you in any way he can. Fear not. Thank you for I talk. Surely. I think they only, all only have like one line. It was a planned ambush. I'm afraid there's nothing we could have done about it. More than anything, I'm concerned about how it shocked Lady Antonia. All this She's mayhem looking. is certainly going to affect her condition. It was a plan than anything. I never imagined the stalkers would dare attack the hotel. Wh what's going on? I never imagined. Right, before I talk to the main lady, you need to turn in this quartz that I got. organ. Okay, increase pulse cells, yep. Lower his natural recovery, yep, okay. Can't do that, can't do that. So, what do I do now? Lowers the legion, consumption of legion arms when HP is low, enables, enhances fabled charging upon fatal attacks. Charges a certain amount of legion when an enemy is eliminated. Lowers weapon durability consumption when weight increases. <clears throat> Lowers the weapon durability reduction of damage attacks and dash attacks. Reduces the stamina consumed to dash. Lowers the legion consume consumption of legion arms. HP is low. Increases the grinder's weapon durability recovery speed. Hmm. I 
think I'll do an item type. Maybe. Enhances the charge effect of Legion magazines. Increases the possession limit for consumables. Increases the possession limit for throwing objects. Increases the effect duration of consumables with prolonged effects. <coughs> Lowers the ergo loss from hits when there's death to ergo to recover. Enhances the effect of Fable Catalysts. Reduces the prices of items sold in shops. Enhances the charge effect of the Legion magazine. Increases the amount of ergo gain from eliminating enemies. Increases the maximum amount of gold coin from in the gold train tree. Increases the possession limit for consumables. It's kind of tough. I might just get the increases the amount of ergo gain from eliminating enemies. Maybe. It would have been better to get that earlier, but, you know. Lowers the stamina consumption of charge attacks. Fable when reviving. Restores the weapon durability when using special grindstones. Increases the grinder's weapon durability recovery speed. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. Either that or um more ergo. And ergo is good and all. But hmm. Fuck it, I think I'll do that. Now I have another amulet slot. And I got phase five unlocked. What we got? Add Legion Arm slot. Whoa. Increases the number of Legion Arm equipable slots. Increases the maximum number of cube uses. Increases time of enemy staggerable status. Retains a certain amount of guard regain when receiving damage. I think I'll do like increases time of enemy staggerable status and increases the maximum number of cube uses. I'll do the staggerable window first, I think. All right, what's up, lady? I'm sorry, child. Geppetto has been kidnapped. The alchemists planned the whole thing. All while we were hiding here. I certainly didn't expect an attack on the hotel. The possibility never crossed my mind. However, I think we can track them down. My portrait. Behind it lies a passageway to their base. The hotel had an accommodation with the alchemists long ago mm -hmm. play this chord on the piano in my room it'll open the secret passageway and you can save Geppetto anger oh maybe I should go talk to that puppet or yeah to teach him some emotions and stuff apparently I must remain in this room I hope Geppetto is safe be careful out there, won't you? The hotel will always welcome you back. I still can't use that. Alright, let me get the gold coins and then we're gonna fast travel to the, uh, <clears throat> the puppet that wants to learn how to be human. Because we just got the anger emote and that's probably one of the ones that they want to learn. If I had to guess. Oh, I can only carry 99 at a time. Interesting. Ah! Oh, Mr. Stalker, it's you. I thought it was the intruders again. It's a relief you're safe. I, I, I was helpless, uh, hiding the entire time. 
This is my first time coming back out. Uh, you surprised me, uh, but make no mistake. You're always welcome here, Mr. Stalker. Let me know if there's anything you need. Stalker, please. No new stuff. Recovery wish stone. Temporal alert. Yeah. Mountain bag too. All right. Let's get the fuck out of here. She said behind her portrait, there's a a way, right? Everyone's back in position. Strange. It hurts so much. Yeah. Speaking of which, you are here. That it's good to be free. When you came in, you reminded me of Alidoro has disappeared. Though I suppose I don't need to call him Alidoro anymore. The hotel has security measures against human infiltrators. I thought it was strange that they didn't activate during the attack. He must have switched the security off. Ugh, it's the only thing that makes sense. Alidoro. Who in the world was he, really? Well, I suppose that's a pointless question now. I want you at your best defending the hotel. Let's see your weapons. You are here. Okay. And yeah, look at all these weapons I got. That's the new one I got, Black Steel Cutter Blade. However. Let's just level up what we have. <laughs> Damn, I have a lot. Oh, uh, okay. Full Moonstone. Should I? Maybe I should, like, level up one of these weapons to try them out, you know? There was that cool katana. Was it this one? No, no. I might not have bought it from the guy. Oh, and it's too late now. He's fucking... He turned on us. Oh, damn. Fuck it. <laughs> Full Moonstone. Oh wow, the damage reduction rate while guarding actually went up for the electric coil stick head. Now, do I want... To upgrade the fire axe blade <laughs> or the electric coil stick head. I don't know. I'll hold on to the full moonstone just in case. Soon you will see the Isle of Alchemists. But be warned. You're walking into hell. And I should know. The truth is... I escaped from there. I had to leave a lot behind. And that is why I woke you. Like you, clever one. I am more than I appear to be. I'm ready for you to see the real me. Show me that you're ready to. Oh boy. Please. Save us. Save Croft. Alright, let's go talk to Puppet Boy. Oh, there's still people I can talk to here? Um, the piano is, is the thing we gotta do. But 
There's something to say. Thank to him. you for another timely rescue. I talk a big game. Surely there must be some. Ah, looks like you've dealt with the puppets menacing the hotel steps in your typically dashing style. That should give us more than enough readings to analyze. The King of Puppets used carefully measured ergo wavelengths to control other puppets. But that's just the means to an end. We still don't know if the frenzy arose by the King of Puppets, or if someone else is pulling the strings. No pun intended. I must find a way to prevent puppets from hurting any more humans. The tragedy of Arlecchino must remain a one-time performance. His records are like a puzzle wrapped in riddles. But I always did love puzzles. Puzzles are fun. The light shines brightest in the darkest times, and you will be the first light. I am counting on you. I always welcome... You have my personal thing to look after at the house of Vanini. At the house of Vanini. All right, cool. We got that. So now, yeah, I figured I figured that puppet would want to learn anger. Hello. Hello, my only friend. Ref. What have you come to tell me? Teach about anger. Huh? Being angry for someone else's sake. I think it's brave. I hope I find someone I can be brave for. Thank you so much. Radiant ergo fragment. Hello, my only friend. Ref. Damn, that's all that's all that I have for you. <laughs> Damn. Hello, my only friend. <laughs> Just like throw a fit. At the house of Vanini. Let's go open this secret door.
Uh, hello. Hey, Blue. Welcome. I just threw up. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> I just vomited. I was speaking, and then I like inhaled something. I don't know. I just inhaled something, and immediately my the my, the only thing my throat could do was just like throw up. So I I muted my mic and I got <coughs> and I went to the bathroom <coughs> and I vomited. Uh, uh, so you might hear me cough a bit. <clears throat> God damn. Ugh. Let me drink some water real quick. <clears throat> Ugh, that came out of nowhere. And it sucked. <clears throat> Ugh. Okay, I need to play something on the piano. Start performing or play a certain scale. Oh, start performing. Damn, he's just playing the same thing he played last time. <clears throat> and I can't skip it. That's cool they let you see it again, though. <clears throat> Man, that sucked. <laughs> Ugh. Thought it was gonna be bothering for a while. <clears throat> That's the theme in the main menu of the game. That's the thing you hear. Right in the beginning of the song. Here and there, I might mute myself to cough, as I have just done. Magistus entrance, whatever. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Damn. <coughs> Damn, I just have to. I just have to cough out all the phlegm now. All that acid. Ugh. That shit sucked. I don't know what I freaking choked on. <clears throat> Ugh. Who would have guessed all this was beneath the hotel? Wait. Is is this the relic of Trismegistus? You know, it's the strangest feeling. I, I, I think I've been here before. Have you? Uh, maybe I haven't gotten all my memories back after all. Oh. I don't know exactly what's going on, but someone was dragged away from here. We have to follow. Hurry!
question. Well, <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I threw up again. <clears throat> I threw up again. <sighs> Same fucking thing. I felt like a thing in my throat. <clears throat> it, it feels as if I inhaled like a bug and it's just like crawling around in my throat. That's what I felt. And as soon as I felt that feeling, I was I, the only thing I could do was throw up. Ugh, it happened twice in a row just now. And I think I might just stop streaming. <laughs> I think it's probably a good sign to stop streaming right now. Um, because speaking might just upset my throat a little bit more. You know, all the phlegm and shit. <clears throat> um, here, let me read the thing. Ugh. I'm underground, but I see a butterfly. Have I gone mad, or is it from another world? Uh, and then if I... Apparently there's a butterfly. There. Uh, that, you know, that Sophia's probably actually gonna end up being, like, a butterfly. An actual butterfly. <clears throat> oh my god. Uh... And then this, this human form that I'm seeing is probably just, like, some sort of projection. Uh... If I had to guess, because she's like, <clears throat> she's definitely like the stand-in for the blue fairy in this uh, telling of Pinocchio. But yes, um, let me go get the gold coin. Me as well. But I'm gonna call it a stream here. <clears throat> Thank you for joining me. Thank you to and anyone who witnessed my. <clears throat> Me killing that boss on the first try, which was pretty pog. Um, and I will continue playing <clears throat> more of this next time, or I might play one of those spooky games on stream next time. I don't know. Guess you'll have to stay tuned to find out. But for now, I think I need to let my throat rest. Uh, So I'm gonna call it here. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's a shame. I wanted to at least explore some of that place first. But fuck, man. Let me go over there so I can at least save it over there. <coughs> Alright. Thank you all for stopping by. I will see you later. And as always... <laughs> See ya.